see so many adults do it, and I see so many kids do it more than anything else. And they got a big lead like this, 12, 10 foot, 12 foot lead. They normally got it rumbled all up like that and got their hands through it. And if that horse gets a fright, and it, say it's wrapped around my hand, you can get dragged. Okay, even with I see a lot of adults do it, as well as this. And I believe the correct way to lead a horse is my left hand is the furthest one away from the holder. I'll bring that across here. My right hand there. See how it's not all tangled up? So when I lead with that horse, I just got to walk forward. See how it comes across my body? And it's not all tangled up around my hand. So if that horse gets a fright and gets away from me, there's no way I'm going to get dragged or get hurt. And why I set it up like this for, with this thing, like I've got my left hand here to the right, instead of doing it the other way, is what I do is I call disengaging my horse. Disengage, you like that word, eh? And disengaging means you've got to take control of that hind core of that horse, so you take the power of that horse, so if that horse tries to buck, you're taking the power away. Or even when you're doing the groundwork, so if I'm walking along like this, he wants to run past me, all I've got to do is step back inside here, and point on that bum, if they move that bum around, I've got control of it, see?